What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Lady Sylvia. Welcome back to The Pink Butterfly. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, I know it's a new background. Just, I'm just laying in my bed today. I'm just chilling, waiting for my daughter to wake up so I can go Christmas shopping with her for some people that have made her Christmas list. So, ain't that a blessing to make it to my daughter's Christmas list? That means she loves you. So I just thought that I would catch up with you guys really quickly. Um, so first, let me say, I apologize for not completing Vlogmas. That is something that I was so looking forward to doing. I really was excited to do Vlogmas. But as you guys know, um, I had the hip injections back on December the 2nd. And that completely turned my world upside down for a couple of days. And I was not able to complete Vlogmas. So I do apologize. And then by this time, I was just like, forget it. You know, I missed so many days. I was just like, whatever. So the hip injections did not go as planned. Um, they take a needle that's about three and a half inches. And they sedate you. They put you to sleep. And they put the needle down in your hip joint, which is your SI joint is kind of between your hip and your pelvis. And that's part of my joints that was really, really bad, for lack of better words. And so they thought that putting some numbing medicine and some steroids and pain medicine down in there that it would give me some relief because what has happened is that because the hip joints have been so bad, it causes excruciating back pain. And, you know, I take pain medicine every six hours, every day. You know, I have to plan out my days. And, you know, I just, I'm tired of that. I just didn't want to do that anymore. So I went to the Minimally Invasive Spine Institute. And I was like, you know, is there anything you guys can do? Is there a surgery? Is there a procedure? And they said, well, before we jump into surgery, let's try these injections. And I'm just tired of taking pain medicine every day. It's ridiculous. I already have to take other medicine every day. I don't want to have to take pain medicine either. So I get these injections, trying to help myself and ended up doing more harm than good. So day one and day two were, were pretty okay. Um, and then all hell broke loose. Um, I had what's called a SI injection fail is what they were telling me. And they said about 25% of people actually end up getting worse than getting better. So they were saying that, you know, the needle has to go through your tissues and your muscles and then down into your joints. So imagine how far this needle has to go down to go through your hip joint and they go from your back. So um, the procedure ended up just causing all kind of nerve issues, which then caused numbness and tingling. Um, my legs were like numb, couldn't hardly walk. Um, it caused a lot of bruising internally with my muscles. Um, I had so many back spasms. It was bad. Like normally my pain would be like without medication before this procedure. You know, if I was going to wash dishes or cook or clean or whatever, you know, and not take any pain medicine, I would have like an eight out of 10 or nine out of 10 back pain. Um, this procedure, I was on like 15 out of 10. Let me tell you, I'm not a crier at all. That's just not what I do. Bebe. When I tell you I was crying and hollering for Jesus, whew, it was the worst pain ever. And so finally, um, and my regular pain medicine was not working. That's how bad this pain was, how much the procedure was supposed to help, how much it irritated me. So I ended up going back to the Spinal Institute and they changed my med my pain medication to something stronger. So um, it took about four hours for that pain medicine to actually kick in and really, really work. That's how far gone I was pain wise. So anyway, um, I'm good now. You know, I'm up and back to running around. Um, the pain 
pre-surgery is not as bad as it was post-surgery, but it didn't fix it either. And then for those, you know, four days or so, it was just completely off the charts. So they said the fix for that is to come in and get another pain injection in the hip and see if it works this time. I don't think so. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I just don't see that happening. I do not. Now, I will say this. I did go in and I have some pinched nerves in my neck and they did the injection in my neck um, day before yesterday. And normally, um, because I had that pinched nerve in my neck, I had like a lot of shoulder pain and numbness and tingling in this arm. I will give them this. It's gone. Like it is gone. Whatever they, you know, the, the shot relieved the pain, the pressure in my neck and that pinched nerve. So that, yeah. But I don't see them putting a needle in my hip again. I just, she's not feeling that. So anyway, um, I just wanted to come on and tell you guys, I'm so sorry I wasn't able to complete Vlogmas. I really, really, really wanted to do that. And then I also wanted to say thank you so much for the many, many comments and emails that I got, you know, just praying that I would feel better and get better. And that really, really, really did my heart good. So I just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um... Y'all rock. I absolutely like love this YouTube community. You guys absolutely rock. And it was just, it's just amazing to me. So I hope you guys are having a blessed day. It's almost Christmas. If you have not got your Christmas stuff, you need to hurry up, child. Hurry up, hurry up. So um, I guess I will just see you guys in my next video. There, um, there are two videos already up if you haven't checked them out. My daughter is home from college for the next, what, five weeks or so. So we did the mother-daughter tag. So you guys definitely check that one out. It took so much to get her in front of the camera. She has no issue being the cameraman, but when it comes time for her to sit in front of the camera. So I had to basically bribe her. So she finally did it. Um, so check out the mother-daughter tag. And then the kids, my daughter and my son, wanted to do the Bean Boozle Challenge. I was reluctant and I should have been. But I did it. So check out that video is up as well. And it's featuring my son and my daughter. So you guys check out the Bean Boozle Challenge. Check out the mother-daughter tag. And I will see you guys around. You guys have a blessed week. Um, I'll see you in my next video, whatever that may be. And peace.